I'm waiting for your tweet for my character. But anyway, also ahead, we have a great story. It's inspirational. A man who proves it is never too late to pursue your dream. At the age of 60, he's about to fulfill his lifelong goal of becoming a professional baseball player. And we will meet this not-so-young rookie, but he looks good, coming up in a bit. He does wow. look good. That's hard to believe he's 60. All right. All right, Willard, thank you. Coming up next, the inspirational story of one man fulfilling his baseball dream at the age of 60. But first, this is today on NBC. Lead forecaster Eddie Garcia, only on KOB Eyewitness News 4. Back now at 837 with a little motivation just to make sure you don't give up on your dreams. NBC's Amna Nawaz is here with an inspirational story from the world of baseball. Amna, good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning, Matt. Well, we had a chance to meet this guy who has been chasing his dream of playing professional baseball for years. And his determination, against all odds, could now make him the oldest rookie in the pros. An over-the-hill pitcher chasing big league dreams. Only in Hollywood, right? We'll try telling that to Paul Rizzo. I've never been a person that's going to look back and say, I should have done this, should have done that. He's back on the mound for his shot at the pros at 60 years old. But at an age when a lot of people are slowing down, this is still what you want? You want the road trips, you want the grueling schedule, you want the hurt body. If I got a chance to play pro ball, I wouldn't be thinking about hurting. I wouldn't be thinking about how grueling it is. I'd be in seventh heaven. Baseball's in his blood. Paul's dad, the late Albert Lefty Rizzo, made it to the minors. I mean, I really wanted to go pro and, you know, for me and for my dad. And in 1973, he almost did. Drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates, just 19 years old. But in one of his last college games, he threw out his arm. His career cut short. I didn't even think about throwing again and kind of live with the idea that it's done. You know the grades came out today. Yeah. Almost 40 years and five kids later, baseball was far behind him. Until a few years ago. I had his dream that I was thrown in a bullpen. My dad's always there with his arms crossed. And uh, he looks at me and says, wow, looks like you got something left. And then when he started talking about it, and yeah, I think I can start doing it again. And yeah, I think I'm going to try out for this men's league in Albuquerque. And it was like, yeah, great. You know, I could see him come alive. Somehow, Paul's arm had healed. Yeah, good pitch, Rizzo. And still had some heat. Um, How do you explain that? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm glad it happened, I'll tell you that. And today, a tryout with the St. Saint Paul Saints, an independent minor league team, could be his break into the big leagues. Okay, good. Let's take a break. His wife, Aileen, is in the stands, and his dad is on his mind. I try to think about what he always told me. Will you throw strikes? Which he does. Over and over and over again. Some clocking in close to 80 miles an hour against batters young enough to be his kids. He threw a lot of strikes, you know? So, I mean, he knows what he's doing. I think he could get hitters out in this league. I don't know if he could do it consistently, but... Um, it's impressive. Um, you know, I'm only 42 and I don't think I could do what he's doing. Finally, Paul's tryout is done, but not no his problem. drive to keep his no dream problem. alive. Thanks a lot. I appreciate the opportunity. You think he's going to keep trying out? Oh, he'll keep trying out. <laughs> There's no doubt he'll keep trying out. Uh, that's just him. Strike. I'll play till they got to take me out of there completely. <laughs> you know, as long as I can compete at any level, I'll be playing baseball. <laughs> Now, while the St. Paul Saints did not have room for Paul on their roster this season, he did keep trying out. And just last week, Paul got signed to another independent team in New Mexico. Matt, he pitches his first pro inning next week. The team says if he does well, there could be a longer contract in his future. It's, I mean, there's so many similarities between his story and the movie The Rookie. Absolutely. And I have catches with my son on the weekend. I hit the Advil pretty hard after that. I can only <laughs> imagine the... the pain he's in after he pitches. He's no stranger to an ice bath and a lot of Advil, but he says he loves it, wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Good for him. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Amna, nice to see you. Thank you.